Hello and thank you for joining me. I must warn you that this video has the potential to instigate triggers as well as flashbacks. Now, people under the age of 16 should only view this video in adult supervision or with adult permission. If you come in contact with this individual or any individuals from any of my videos, do not approach them, do not harass them, and do not cause them any harm. If you have any information whatsoever about a crime, please contact your local law enforcement agency or Crime Stoppers. Thank you. If you'd like to join me on my crusade and have access to extended content with ad-free videos and so much more, head over to my Patreon. I'll be including a link in the video description. Can't wait to see you there. Can I ask you a question, but don't get mad at me? Uh-huh. Like, you promise? Yeah, I will, yeah. What's your, what's your question? Um, no, it's okay, never mind. Why? Why are you saying I'm going to get mad at you? Well, no, I'm not getting mad, but I'm just, I have a, I always have a lot of random questions. It's okay, you can ask me. Well, my question was, like, I mean, because we don't know each other, we just started talking, but I was going to see... Like, are you liking talking to me for me, or do you like talking to me because I'm 14 years old? I like talking to you for you. For anybody that's new to my channel, my name is Justin Payne, and essentially, I'm an online vigilante pedophile hunter. I pretend to be a minor online and also message fake profiles that I've created. Now, throughout these long, drawn-out conversations that I will have with individuals, I will continuously reiterate to them that I am a minor. And they will continue conversation and when they do typically they break the law now sometimes i will contact police prior to confronting individuals and sometimes after i've confronted them edited the video and posted to social media just like this one police can still reach out if they feel that there's something that they can do now there's a misconception that a lot of people believe that just because the video has been uploaded to social media that nothing can be done it just means that nothing has been done at that moment yeah, go ahead. You can ask me anything. Like, I won't get mad. Listen, I know kind of what it means, but I kind of don't because people keep giving me different answers. Yeah. So I don't know. Yeah, ask me. Like, what's a pedophile? What's a what? What's a pedophile mean? Oh, see, now you're going to get a different answer out of all of them. Well, I don't, like, well, tell me, and then I'll tell you if it's, like, the same. I don't know, it's when a guy goes under, guy goes, goes after, like, younger kids. Without, like, them knowing or something. Lots of us categorize sex offenders and child molesters all as pedophiles, but in my unclinical diagnosis, I would consider this individual as a hebephile. Now, you're probably scratching your head right now and going, well, what the heck is a hebephile? Hebephile is strong, present sexual interest by an adult in children who are in early adolescence, typically at the ages of 11 to 14 years of age, and showing some physical development. And then Google gave, like, weird explanations? Yeah. And it just kind of, I just started asking everybody. His sense of boldness and the direction in which that he asks his questions lead me to think that there's something more compelling going on that I just don't know about. Now, all the individuals that we speak to, they're very heinously in everything that they say. But since the beginning of this conversation, I have a sense that this individual may be far worse than what I originally anticipated. Shit. Oh my god, you can see it now. You can see it now, what I've been dealing with. Uh, all these fucking tires and shit in the fucking back right now. Long story short, so, there's a slow leak in my tire. Took it into Kia, they said $800 for a rim without the tire. 
So about a thousand dollars all together. I said no. I went into some other place. They said that the rim was broken and the air was going to keep leaking out and possibly break and shatter on the highway. So they're like, "Yeah, change this right now." That was two fifty. Great deal. Had to wait a week. Totally slept in the car with nothing but bullshit. Long story. Uh, today's story is these. This is the fucking tire in the rim now that I have to fucking carry around with me and I have no idea how I'm going to sleep in the car now for the next like two weeks until I go home with having this tire and that in, in the back seat now. So I'm going to have to find some place to drop it off uh, while I'm here at least and so I can be a little bit more comfortable because this whole trip was uh, not supposed to last this long but I brought way too many bags of clothes and things with me and now the, the whole trunk is full, the whole back seat is full. And the whole front seat is a complete shit show. Like, I would show you right now that I'm too embarrassed right now to, to show you because this is fucked up enough. Um, I've been trying to keep things going with chatting with online predators. That has kind of come to a halt because it's hard to charge things in the car properly. Um, battery keeps dying, so on and so forth. So it's just been a complete fucking nightmare. But Brandon wants a phone call, so we're going to call Brandon. So Justin's going to pretend to be happy because Chris is always happy, right? <clears throat> So this is the individual that resides in Toronto, Ontario. I've been keeping up with contacting him and texting him and talking to him on the phone so that when I do get back to Toronto, I can confront him. I was really hoping to get this all figured out beforehand, but... <clears throat> Hello? Hey. Hi. How's it going? Oh, it's fucking going. Oh, yeah? It's fucking going, man. It's fucking going to fucking, fucking hell, man. How? Why? What's wrong? Nothing. So you don't want me to talk to anybody new? No. Um, just so you know, you're, you're aware, that would go for you too. You can't talk to, like, guys off the website anymore too. Okay, I promise to. Do you swear? Yes. Alright. Are you, so where are you at? You're in your room? Yeah, I'm fucking bored, man. Because usually what happens in types of relation, like types of, I guess, relationships or whatever, or the connections, people, other people will try and talk you out of things or talk you into things. What the fuck are they going to talk me out of? I, I don't know. It could be anything. could be, well, okay, from my experience could be something like okay i'll give you an example so before i talked before i met you like before i talked to you i was talking to this other guy well i was talking to a few other guys and you know we really like each other and he so i said so we both agreed that say hey okay you can talk to other people as friends but not at the other one the other one you know what i mean what is the other one uh, I guess like dating slash sex. All right, but again, I, what the fuck does that have to do with you, though? Because it's happened to me before. So you're scared that someone else is gonna come along and I'm gonna like them more than you, pretty much, right? Yeah. Okay, that's all you had to fucking say. I don't know why you make things fucking sound so difficult. It's not that I wasn't making it complicated. I just explained it to you in 10 seconds and you took like fucking forever and couldn't fucking get it out. No, I, I couldn't. Okay, but that's basically the answer. I think you like me. I liked you f for a while now. Hold on, hold on, oh hold on a second. I'm gonna charge the battery a little here. <clears throat> Just to make sure that the fucking, fucking everything doesn't die on me sitting here, because that's the last thing I need is... This call is fucking 31 minutes and 28 seconds. Uh, I'm just going to let this go maybe one more minute. Any car enthusiast would say to leave it going longer, but I... I don't know, these calls are that important that even if the fucking car died, fuck it, I'll call a tow truck spend the fucking 60 and because I need to get as much of this as I can this is almost a tactic of conversational techniques putting him on hold making him kind of thinking his own thoughts about what we're talking about right now and 
allowing him space in order to be able to kind of um, internalize some of the thoughts, maybe even some questions and, and things that he might be interested in asking. So BFF is this basically no. What? You're what? Who's talking? Oh, well, it's my mom's fucking friend came over, or my unknown as friend. Did he want to ask you? Oh, they asked me if I wanted food, though. Hold on one sec, Kay. Yeah. Sorry, man. I was in the middle of a call with this guy. Oh, shit, eh? Hold on one sec. Yeah. Can you just give me, like, one second, please? Yeah. I gotta go inside. Hold on a sec. How much do you get paid for that? Oh, I don't. Really? Yeah. I thought about it today, like I went into the app, uh, Best Buy to yeah. upgrade on equipment. Hey, Sorry man, I didn't mean to be rude. This... No, I didn't realize you were at a call. I was like, I thought you were telling them one second you were going to talk to me and then I, I talked again. I was like, shit, you're still at a call, so. Oh man, I respect you for that, man. Thanks respect. man. What's your name? Dylan, man. Dylan, nice to meet you. Hey, what's your name, man? Justin. Justin, you take her easy, eh? You too, man. Good night, buddy. I respect you for that shit. Hello? Excuse the mess in here and the shit that's on my face. I have fucking glue on my fucking face. Um, I was installing some bamboo floors earlier today, well, and yesterday, hence why I'm completely fucking filthy. Some of the things to note throughout the text messaging, um, just randomly, he's asked this before, but he's been a little bit more forward with what he wants lately stating do you want to be my boyfriend and then he goes on to say even if you are all over the place it's okay we can work around that together I miss you by the way um, because the reason why he said that is because um, I had said that basically well I'm all over the place like me being the kid um, he says I can put up with you as long as you're not talking to anybody else so at this point in the conversation, what he's trying to do is, and I've said this numerous times, there's identifying the victim, there's friendship forming, there's risk assessment, um, there's sexualizing the relationship, which he's already done through uh, text, text correspondence as well as he's done it um, over the phone as well while I changed my voice. Um, now he's moving into isolating the victim. Now typically predators will utilize this tactic um, once they've met the child. Jimmy is a fictional character. The purpose of him is to make him feel more comfortable knowing that the child has met others off the website. You need so what, you, what else did you and Jerry do? Nothing. I mean, we talked this morning and we... When he came over, I mean. Oh, when he came over, I thought you meant you and me. We were talking. Um, he came over like a little after we talked. You and me. Yeah. What did you guys do? What do you mean? Like, obviously, we watch TV and stuff. He couldn't stay, though, like he was gonna. He said he was gonna stay the night. But he couldn't? No. I mean, did you guys cuddle? Yeah, of course we cuddle. Like, what the fuck, man? Of course we cuddle. And? What are you fucking laughing at me for? Because you're funny, and? And what? And? And I do cut up naked. Well, it wasn't like we Were just... Were you naked this time? What do you mean? Did you guys like, did you like take me? Because last time when you came over, you said you just had your boxers on. Yeah, because, so well, because I was, I was nervous the last time. Yeah, I had this time. Um, to be honest, I was really kind of scared. The second time, really? Yeah, a little bit. Like, well, just nervous, man. Oh. Has an adult been inappropriate with you or somebody that you know, and you want to find somebody that you can trust to talk to? This is the number to the National Sexual Assault Hotline. Phone lines are 24 hours, seven days a week, and this call is absolutely free. 
Operators are standing by right now to offer insight as well as guidance to help you navigate your situation. A predator may make you feel like that they might hurt you or do something, but there's a lot of people out here right now that are willing and able to help you right now. So please, when you're comfortable, reach out. So, and then what else do you guys cut? So were you naked? Did we actually like naked this time? Um, well, not, I don't know how to explain it. No, you don't know how to explain it. It's pretty easy to explain. Well, I had socks. Or do I have to ask you, or do I have to ask you the question? Do I have to like... I had socks on, fucker. Do I have to help you out again? Why the fuck are you going to help me out? By asking you, specific. Well, just do it, but I just told you that I had socks on, so I wasn't naked. Okay. Okay, smart ass. What I meant was Okay, you had socks on. Did you have your boxers on? I wear boxers. What do you wear? Normal underwear. Okay, did you take off your did you have your underwear on? Yeah, a little. Uh, a little or fully? Well, like, I don't know, like halfway, I guess. Oh, okay. Oh, that's... Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, like, that's... It is weird how you just know this stuff. Well, uh, no, I'm... It's because I just know how... I just know how it works. It's from previous experience, that's why. Yeah. This individual asks a lot of sexual history questions about the child, much like most predators will do. This could be for a multitude of different reasons. It's in my belief that this individual would ask such questions on what other adults have done with the child in order to find out how far they have pushed it or how far this individual could take things. I would almost dare say that while this individual is gaining his intel about the child's exploitation and everything that the child has gone through, that this individual is getting aroused at every description of molestation. Did you do anything different than you got? Did you do anything different than you did last, last time? What do you mean, anything different? In terms of sex. I told you we didn't get to do that. Wow. Because, wait, what did you say? Sorry? No, I just meant like, did you guys do anything differently than last time? Yeah, but what do you mean differently? What the fuck would be different? Well, last time I uh, came over, he stuck his dick in you halfway. Yeah, that's when he stayed the night. Yeah. But you guys didn't do that this time? No, I told you that it was kind of the same thing as before. It just oh. didn't work. Oh. I don't know why, maybe there's something wrong with me. I know why it didn't work. Why? So one, you have to you have to clean your asshole because of the, the asshole that you are. Yeah, I saw what you did, you're a sick fuck and you tried to make a joke. Continue. <laughs> But you, but that's that, that's actually true. You have to, you know, make sure it's clean, and you need lots of lube. Yeah. As children grow up more or less in their teenage years, when going through adolescence, they become more daring and curious about the world that's around them. During those years of growing up, children tend to chart territories and situations in their life with an almost invincible attitude mixed with curiosity. Through this and a mix of other personal circumstances, your child may fall victim to somebody with bad intentions. Once learning about this, the best thing to do is to stay calm. Now, I understand that it can be extremely difficult given the situation, but once you've learned about what your child has been going through, the best thing that you can do is to update yourself on the situation. So this could be reading the text transcripts or emails, finding out as much as possible 
and then very calmly sitting your child down to have a discussion with them about what's been going on. It's understandable that you may feel angry, but it's best to leave anger out of the situation as it could make your child feel that you're disappointed in them, which in turn could make your child go into shutdown mode and not want to speak about it. Now, once you've found out as much information as possible, your next step in my belief is to contact your local police department and also consider finding a family counselor. Reach out to accredited professionals who can offer insights and advice on what to do next. Sometimes we're faced in situations that are displeasing and sometimes people will just deal with the problem as much as possible and then throw a blanket over it. But this is your child's future that we're talking about. So every step needs to be done in the right direction. So right now I'm gonna give the individual a call that's coming down here to meet what he believes to be a 14 year old boy. Hello? Hey. Hi, what did you say? You said something about what? On my text? Yeah, what'd you say? Didn't you fucking read it? Yeah, you said dude, you're gonna come here and fucking, you wanna take a shower here? Yeah, so I can save, so I don't have to do it at home and it'll save time so I can come to you sooner. We're gonna look around, like obviously we're gonna like see what you're gonna get and then look around. Cause I haven't been in that mall in like a very long time. Uh, so I haven't been up there in a very long time, so, but, uh, yeah. Oh, I'm actually right here. <laughs> you had a feeling that this is what this could be, correct? What's that? You had a feeling that this is what it would be. What do you mean? You came down here to meet a 14-year-old boy. You had a feeling that this could be some type of a setup, didn't you not? You didn't say, I didn't tell you that I was 14. Don't you remember we talked for like four or five months? Or sorry, actually, you know what? I apologize. You're actually absolutely correct. On May 3rd, I did turn 15 years old in those chats. You're absolutely right. But does it make it any better? No, but all of really what it was is, so those texts was this basically just playing around. Just, what do you mean playing around? Just playing around. Do you think that it's normal to do that? No, I didn't. Would say it be a fantasy? Do, no, I didn't say I was actually going to do it. Why I wanted to do that is because I was I, not because I really wanted to do anything. I was just curious. So then, why uh, recently? Actually, we really got into some some discussion about dating. We did, and uh, that wasn't that wasn't my intention. So then, why would you say that you wanted to to date him though? You said that he was going to be your boyfriend, and you guys were going to be physical eventually. Yeah, I mean that was just that wasn't obviously that wasn't real. Because I wanted to see if this was if this was an actual real thing, and I wasn't planning on doing anything. So you needed to find out if it was real to know that if you could pursue it to the things that you were saying that you were going to do. Recently, you got really comfortable with them, and then that's when you started talking about dating. Right, but that wasn't supposed to. That wasn't supposed to happen. Obviously, of course, I wanted it. But but but, but, really but do you think that it's okay for an adult? You're a grown man. How old are you? Of course. How old are you? My age doesn't matter right now, but like okay. I said, I am, yes, but I'm, the intention was obviously not to actually meet somebody, so. The intention was not to meet somebody? So then why were you here? Not, not sexually or anything. Not sexually? No. So then why, 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 but why, I wanted to see if he was, okay, but why would you call him your bottom and you're his top? I, I know what the terminology came. means. Yeah, I know, I know, but I said came, but I didn't say, I didn't actually mean it. You didn't mean what? Are you, are you saying that I'm a liar and what I just said? No, no, I'm just saying this. I'm saying, but thanks for your thanks for your time, though. And uh, just be aware that this camera is for documentation, so that you and I can't say that we did or did something we didn't do. You could leave the situation and say I physically harmed your vehicle or yourself. You know what I mean? So it's just for documentation. Okay. But you you don't think that it's abnormal to, as you say, joke? No, I know, but like, okay, so. Meeting is one. A meeting is one thing I know. So the atten the intention wasn't to. That's why I didn't say come to your house, even though I said you know come to your house or whatever. But obviously that wasn't the intention. So why did you want to come I to my house and take a shower, man? Yeah, of course I wanted to say that, but I didn't actually want to do it. My you, intention you, isn't to come. You, my you didn't. To come. You didn't want to take a shower at his house. No. So then why did you say that you were going? You need to I take. Said a I was going to bring a clothes, and I didn't even want to do it. So I only. Said you said that. that you already left the house. You said you left the house. You have the bag of clothes. So are you lying to the child? And who are you lying to? The child or me? I said I have the bag of clothes, but I don't have clothes. That was my intention. That was obviously a joke. I, my intention really was to actually do it. You know what I mean? So, but, well, okay. Again, let's go back to the top or bottom thing. Okay. Why would you want to be a top to a 15-year-old? I don't. So then why would you say that, though? 
I'm saying it because it's through text, but I don't actually want to do it. Just like I don't want to actually go come to the come to the shower. Obviously, that was but, my but do you okay? But let's say this. Let's say somebody else says this to a kid. Do you think that that's normal? No. What not. do you think their intention would be if they said that to a kid? To probably actually meet them. And? And do stuff with them. So then but what? You're the exception, right? No, I didn't say it was the exception. I, my, my intention was to actually do something. To do what? Nothing. You just said, you, no, but you said that your intention was to do something, but now you're saying that it's to do nothing. Now you're saying that before you said that you bought a break of clothes so because right. you were going to take a shower at the kid's house, but then you said that you show up and you were going to take a shower at the fucking kid's house. So like, what is it? Neither. So my intention was to meet him, meet him to see if it was re- to see if he was actually true. Yeah. And then let and then say come to the store or whatever and then that was it. Come so, here. So so all that here, shit. So what what was the point of talking for like 4 or 5 months if this is all that it was going to be was just to say hey what's going on man and then peace and that's it. Honestly that was that was it. But why would you waste all that time talking, saying explicitly inappropriate things to a child, very foul, disgusting, possibly criminal things? Okay. So, okay, the kid's real, the kid shows up, you hang out for five minutes, and then that's, that's it. Then forever you just wouldn't talk again? Yeah. Okay, and I would so, say thank you for you know thank you for your time or whatever, and then that would be it. Thank you for your I time. Actually, what, okay, so what, what about the, the what do you think about the, tr- the turmoil and the trauma that you would have caused this young child? If what? If I actually went? If I no, because you don't have to just sexually exploit a child in order to ruin a child's life. Okay. No. Do you think that their young minds are calibrated to be able to understand? Oh, no. No. So then, wouldn't you find that there's something wrong with that? Yeah, of course. Of course, what? Yeah, there would be something wrong. With that. How are you feeling right now? How am I feeling right now? Yeah. Um. Not so good. <laughs> Why don't you feel good right now? Because of this situation. Do you think you deserve this situation? Absolutely not. You don't? So you think that you don't deserve this situation what's happening right now? Oh, I mean, does it, well, yeah, yeah. So you do feel that you did something wrong then? Because if you didn't do something wrong, then that means that you would not deserve this situation because now you're saying that you do deserve the situation because that's why? Because you feel bad for something? No, no, no. I, I don't, I have to say I didn't deserve it. Because of all this, do you think that it's right for adults to talk sexually explicitly to a child, to children? Absolutely not. So then, why would you talk to me like that? Because I'm Chris. I'm innocent. Okay. Why would you talk like that? That's what I'm trying to get at. Is the honesty portion of this? Nobody sits there for months and talks to somebody and says, "Did they fucking? Where did they come?" Did they? Did you suck their dick? Did they stay the night? Did they fuck you? Are you a virgin? I'll be your top. You're my little bottom, or you're my bottom, and I'm your king. I understand. You have a phone call? I got a text. You think that that's really important right now in the situation? No, there's nothing wrong with looking at my phone. No, of course not. I'm just saying that, I mean, given the magnitude of this situation, wouldn't you rather be more present here? Because by you checking no, your phone, I mean, I wouldn't you... Wouldn't you... I dare say that that would mean that you're... Not really giving a shit about the situation. I say, I'm so... I'm so bored. You say, if you're bored, just download some stuff we talked about. What stuff? The videos we talked about. The ones that Jimmy showed you. I'm confused, huh? Sorry, I fell asleep last night. Never mind. Good morning. What's up? Tell me... Don't make me feel dumb, please. Porn. LOL. Yeah. You're instructing the child to go out and watch porn. Just go watch Pornhub website, type in gay twink. Okay. Yeah. So you're instructing a 14-year-old to go out and watch pornography. 15, but okay. Yeah. At that time, he was 14. He didn't turn 15 until when? May 3rd. This was April. So, and again, that does not help the situation whatsoever. I know that you were trying to think of that as an age to say that probably he's close to 16, but he's not even close to anything legal age. And even if he was legal age, it doesn't even matter because it's still disgusting. It's still immorally wrong, even if the criminal code says that it's fucking all right, but it's not. It's disgusting. Yeah. Understood. I wouldn't eat, I'm 35 and I wouldn't date a girl under the age of 25. Probably 28 would be the, the youngest I'd go. Mm-hmm. But you, how was the youngest you'd go? You gotta think about it. Twenty. Twenty. So then what? My intention, but so, 
But why, again, again, dude, this is what I'm trying to get at here. Again, all of the things that have been stated lead me to believe otherwise. Right. No, I understand. Those statements do lead you. You didn't say these things just to say it. You thought you were coming for a relationship. Smitten is this is this something that you've been thinking about for the longest time now? No. Have you ever wanted to date a 14 or 15 year old? No. Do you, are you able to differentiate between the age? Can you tell the difference between a 20 or an 18 year old and a 14 year old? Are you sure that you can tell the difference? Yes, but what do you mean smitten? Smitten means like, like you're interested. Like it means that they've got your interest, your curiosities. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That that wasn't that wasn't the. Uh... What happens if this would have been the police showing up here today? Do you think that you'd, these excuses would have worked on them? Probably not. So if they wouldn't have worked on the police, then that would mean that that would be tangible to not be the truth. Because if it was the truth, they would be able to sniff it out to find out that it was the truth. Right. So that means that everything you're saying is just a bunch of crock of shit. Dude, nobody talks to 15-year-old little boys this way. Okay. Well, I mean, actually, everybody talks to me that way. It's kind of fucked up if you ask me. Oh, I don't remember. It's been... <laughs> It was a no, no, no. Because if you're gonna call bullshit on anything I'm saying, the time that you talk, the thing that you're talking I'm not about, bullshit. I'm just trying to that, that, no, I'm calling bullshit on you right now. The thing that you're talking about is the part where you said that I was, you were joking because you're talking about the retainer to keep somebody's mouth open so a dick could go in it. That was the only time that you mentioned that. Hey, I was joking. The boyfriend fucking thing, dude. You went fucking on and on about that on the yeah, fucking phone. Right. Yeah. There was a fucking definite there. It was we are boyfriends, not we aren't boyfriends. Yes, I made it definite that, but yes, I did. So why are you trying to fucking find inconsistencies no, of the story? No, no, Motherfucker, I got no, it all up here. Inconsistencies, I understand what you're saying. I was just confused. You were asking me before if I was going to actually follow through on... And you said that in the in the, in the the text transcripts, you said that in the text transcripts, you said that you were not going to follow through. So as soon as I went to pull up my phone, you said that it was all up there. You said that it was in here, but now you're saying it's up there. No, 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 that's not... That's, that, what, that's what you just said. I got confused what you were saying because you were going on. Okay, and so on. at what point did you say that you weren't going to fuck the 15 year old tonight? At what point did you say that you didn't want to be his boyfriend? I did. At what point? Tell me, tell me, tell me at what point in the conversation did you say any of that? It was a text like a couple, I think it was a couple days ago, and, and I said, um, we can be boyfriends or whatever. Right? Yeah. I said that in the I said that in the tax. Okay. So, so sorry. You said, Jesus Christ, dude, try to keep up. I know you're playing dumb right now. Like I said, I know you're a smart fucking guy, but right now you're looking like a fucking dumbass. I'm not playing dumb. You playing said dumb. that you told me that you were basically forfeiting all the things that you were saying about anything sexual about dating. Oh, no. I That's what you said. You told me that you had mentioned that none of those things were going to happen with the 15-year-old here today. After some more digging was done by my team, we were able to find multiple articles stating that this individual, Brandon Frazier, then 24 years old, was fired from 42 Division in Scarborough, Ontario, where he was working as a police officer. After allegations of an inappropriate sexual relationship with a minor came to light. I will include some links to those articles in the description for your discretion. So you mentioned before that the person was 16 now that you were on the registry for. Yeah. And the only difference... But isn't that the... That's the legal age of consent, though. It, it is. Um, but the, I think the difference is because I was in a... I think that, uh, certain Hold positions... Hold on, sorry. Uh, sorry. Uh, sorry. Um, yeah, it, it, it's legal, but the only difference is because of my occupation. They take certain occupations. Like if you were in a position of like, like a teacher. But you were a security guard at the time. I know that. I know. I think they, they took that as a position of uh, responsibility. Yeah. Like a teacher, uh, something. Teacher. But if it's if it's anything else, like a construction worker, there's no response if you just doing. Oh, stuff. it's because it's because you were doing part time it was the, um, security it guard. Was the, yeah, okay. mostly security. Yeah, but because I would because now I'm in construction, it's just it's not no position. Yeah. yeah. So it depends on the occupation. But you weren't. But if but if I wasn't, I mean, yeah. But because, yeah, because I was in that security position. Yeah. Yeah. You weren't a police officer. 
I was, yeah. yeah. How did you know? But why would you tell me... Why would you tell me a lie when I'm trying to help? You know what I mean? I know, but I was... It's because I, I don't... I know the trust level, like... I know you're. I know you're trying to help. It's just I. But you told me that it was already out there. You said the news had already covered it. Yeah. So if the news had already covered it, I would find out. Yeah. Yeah, and it was. Even yeah. without knowing that, I mean, just simple yeah. searches. Yeah. No, I just wanted me because I just the whole like everything right now is just so many things going through my mind. So I wasn't sure what what you're gonna do with the information I had and stuff. So.